Flashforward sent me an Adventurer 5M Pro, and I want to try some ABS on it because I got three projects, LED lighting for a fence, brackets for my power supply on my CNC, and hooks for my utensils on my barbecue. I'll explain it all on today's Film at Friday. This video is sponsored by Flashforge. Now this isn't a formal review, that's a printer I just wanted to play with. The Adventure 5M Pro. It's got a plastic front door with magnets embedded, so this thing will flex without breaking a glass door, like can happen on other printers. It's also got a textured PEI bed, which I really like, but most of all, I like this little plastic handle, so I can grab this thing when it's hot and not burn my fingers. I wish more printers did this. It does have a touch screen interface, which I really like, and it's very responsive. But I did find that the text and the icons are a little bit small, at least for my eyes. And some of the icons, I just didn't really recognize what it was doing. It's a little bit different than other printers. But overall, it works well. It has a USB drive, not an SD card, and a front-mounted on-off switch instead of having to reach around to turn it on and off. You can also control this printer through Wi-Fi. It's got the infamous spool holder on the back like every other printer. I'd rather have the spool holder on the side. But there's no screw holes here to screw something to it if I want to make a mount. I'm sure the community will figure something out, I just haven't seen anything yet. My favorite feature is the top cover. It's plastic and it's hinged so you can flip it back like this and it stays. So then you can go in here and work on the PTFE tube, change filament, and then when you're done just close this thing. You don't have to pick up the lid, put it somewhere, and then find it later. I wish more printers copied this. It comes with this sample spool of PLA, which is a speckled color, which is kind of nice. I printed their cube. This is a sample print. It looks pretty good, but the corners look a slight bit over extruded, like they don't have the tuning just exactly right. And then I printed their 3D Benchy, which kind of looks like a 3D Benchy. It's very smooth, looks really good, but I don't think it's an original 3D Benchy because there's no writing at the back, there's no writing at the bottom. When you look at it from the top, the box is filled in. The flagpole hole is this stack, I don't know what it is. And then the smokestack is actually angled more. So I don't think it's an original 3D Benchy, but it still looks pretty good. I bought this pack of solar lights and I want to put it on our backyard fence. But our backyard fence is metal and it's decorative and it's not designed for these types of lights because these lights don't line up with the fence. In fact, if I could make them line up, I'd have to drill holes and cause this thing to rust. I don't want that. So I want some kind of adapter because these are designed to screw into either a wood fence or double sided tape to steps. Based on the dimensions, I recreated that lighting module in Tinkercad, and then I could design a clamp or a mount for those. And here's what I came up with, a simple type C clamp with holes at the top to screw into. So this should hold it tight against the rail of the metal fence. I printed one with that sample PLA, and I noticed the bottom of it just didn't stick real well, but dimensionally it fit nicely. And the light will mount right on top of it, and the holes lined up. But I noticed there's an on-off switch in the back, which didn't make any sense because these come on automatically in the dark. But anyway, I took the mount that I had and I split it into two separate pieces to give me access to that switch just in case I need it. Now because this is outside, I want some higher temp filament, so I chose to use ABS instead of PLA. Now ABS can produce some really nasty fumes and it gives me a headache, so I needed to put this printer in a place where I have really good ventilation. So I chose to put it inside the little bathroom in the basement, and that's because above where the printer is, there's a really good vent, and this vent goes all the way up above everything, so nobody has to smell the fumes. A Flash Forge does have a rebranded version of Orca Slicer, but I used the standard Orca Slicer and found a profile for this machine. I'm also using the Flash Forge ABS filament profile, which has a 265 degrees C for the filament and 105 degrees C on the bed. ABS has a tendency to want to warp, so that 105 degrees C should work really well to keep the prints flat. So this first one was printed at a 0.28 layer height. That's why they look a little bit rougher. I did print more at point two, but the bottoms all look nice and flat, no warping, which was great. The way the design was, though, is I had to print with the layer lines in line with the holes. So when I put these screws in, I was worried about splitting the plastic. And actually, I did split a couple, but I found if I just screwed in really slowly, I had the hole sizes mostly right, and I didn't split on most of them. So it fit nice and tight, and the lights worked perfectly. So now I just had a whole bunch of them to install on the fence throughout the yard. And it went together rather nicely, and at night, it looked great.
It lit up the edge of the yard very nicely, and it looked great from every angle. And best of all, my wife loved them. The next ABS project was my grill. I have this bar on the inside of the door, and I wanted to hang utensils there, so I needed to come up with a hook system to put my spatula and all the other utensils, and each one required a slightly different hook. Actually, two of them were the same, and the other ones were different. So I wanted to Tinkercad and I ended up with three different hooks. The one on the left is for the tongs and then the one in the middle is for the cleaning brush and then the one on the right is for the other two utensils. Now these are a little bit longer than the lighting brackets so it'll be interesting to see if these warp at all. Now I've actually got four hooks instead of three hooks and that's because two of them are identical so I actually needed four hooks. And I'm using the same settings as I did before the ABS only I'm printing at a 0.2 layer height instead of 0.28. And the results look really good. Very nice and smooth. The tops are good. And the bottoms, I don't see any sign of warpage. So these are the two that are identical for both the fork and the spatula. And then this is actually a little thinner, so that fits the brush. And then this is the one for the tongs. It's a little taller. I had some problem on the top here, a little bit rough. But the bottom actually looks smooth. So again, no warping. The printer did a pretty good job. So now I just need to install them and they snap over that bar. So the first one is for the tongs and that hangs a, a little bit higher than the other ones. And then the next one is for the brush, although I probably should put that one on the inside. And then I got two more hooks, one for the fork and one for the spatula. And they kind of snap in place so they won't come out easily, but I can slide them side by side to position them. So let's just swap these two because uh, I don't like the way that was. So then once I got the brush in place, now I can open and close the door. They swing a little bit, but they stay in place. So I'm really happy with the results. And with the high temperature plastic, it should survive anything the grill can put out. Now I wanted to try some longer prints to see if it would warp. And I remembered I've been wanting to mount the power supply on my CNC to the back of the machine. And I found these prints from the Bavarian model maker that it actually clamps the thing to the back with T-nuts. So it just takes the power supply, mounts it right here solidly. I said, this is perfect. This is what I was looking for. And they're longer prints. So I printed them on the Adventurer 5M Pro and it came out really nice. And a little bit rough on top like I had with that other clip, but the bottom, no sign of warpage anywhere on either bracket. Again, top surface, just a little bit rough, but the bottom surface was great. Well, this was also a great test of the fit because these things barely slide onto the power supply. They're supposed to fit nice and tight, and they do. This thing slides right on, and the hole lines up perfectly to where you put a screw to lock it in place. So one goes all the way against the plastic housing, and then the other one slides on to line up with that screw hole. To mount it to the back of the CNC machine, I'm going to use some M14 nut and M4 by 12 millimeter screw, which requires a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench to tighten everything up. So here's the T-nuts in place with the screws. I mounted them to the rails, lined everything up so the screw hole and the power supply was lined up. Now I had to remove the wire from the power supply to get this in. And then I tightened everything up once it was lined up, slid the power supply into place. And if I got everything right, that screw hole should line right up. And it did with an M4 by 8 screw. So now this thing is solid. I just need to reconnect those wires for the power supply. And this thing was back in action. And I love it. The only thing I would change is add some clips here to hold the wire. But maybe that's for a future print. You can get the Adventure 5M Pro direct from FlashForge for under $500. And it's got other features, including a built-in camera. So check it out if you're interested. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I want to give a special shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, I couldn't make these videos. And also the people who buy through my affiliate links or support me on Thangs.com. Thank you as well. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hollowbuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.